guys, my name's Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're working in the 2015 and up Ford F-150 or the 2017 and up Ford Super Duty truck. Today I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to install the factory trailer brake control kit. Um, they look very similar. This is an uh, F-150 here and this is a Super Duty. They're actually identical in some respects. They do have different part numbers, but they do fit exactly. So the video I'm gonna show you guys today will work for the 2015 and up F-150 and the 2017 and up Super Duty. Once we install the module in the center console here, um, just to the left of your climate controls, um, at the very end, we're going to program the vehicle using the OBD Genie tool. Now this is very easy to use, just plug it in the OBD2 port. It works its magic, programs the vehicle to accept the module, and you can do it all in the comfort of your own home. So let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the center console center stack here to be able to gain access to remove this panel here. Uh, now, what I like to do is I like to remove the top cubby completely. Um, and sometimes you can get away with just popping this up to get access to the two seven millimeter screws that hold in your radio bezel. It's not that, it's not that extra, much extra work to just to remove the top cubby here. This just pops out. Some of you will have a, have a speaker here, some of you will not, but there's gonna be two seven millimeter screws here. Then what you're gonna do is just lift up on this panel and it just pops out of place at that point. Uh, then that gives you nice, easy access to these two seven millimeter screws. Once you do that, you can just pop this panel out. It's just held in with retaining clips at this point. So just pull it out and kind of set it aside. Now, those of you who have the center console, it's a little bit different when it comes to this point here. There'll be an extra little um, panel right here you'll have to remove, which will be these two screws. That's only if you have the center console. Uh, you remove these two screws, you pull out this little thing here, and then you actually have to lift up on the tray uh, on your center console, just to, just to note that. All right, now, as I mentioned, this vehicle does not have the center console, but there is one seven millimeter screw located back here, which you will need to remove. If you do have the center console, uh, there will be another, there will be a screw in that exact same position, but you'll pull off a separate little panel on the lower portion of the console. This particular vehicle does not have a center console, so we're gonna go ahead and just remove that screw. And then the lower panel here just pops out. If you come around from the driver's side over and it comes out and just set it aside. Next thing we're gonna do is just pull down on the knee bolster here. So just kind of grab it and pull it down. You don't actually need to remove any screws or anything like that and just kind of have it laying down. All right, now that our knee bolster is pulled down, we can go ahead and just pull on this panel here. Um, it comes just right out. If you have the four wheel drive system, you just, or if you don't, you still have a connector here. Um, just go ahead and press the tab in and pull it out. All right, now that gives us access to the little cubby that's in your center con or your dash here. So that this just pulls right out. This little tabs on the top and bottom just pulls right out. And here's your dummy connector. This connector here is what plugs into the new module. So you could set the cubby aside, connect your module, and slide it right into place. You'll hear it kind of snap right in. All right, now we can go ahead and install this panel. Now, I wanted to mention real quick, these are at an angle down here. So whenever you go to install this, you have to install the bottom first, kind of at an angle, and then it pops into place. But first, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our connector. And then we're gonna come in at an angle and make sure that we're lined up down below. And you'll notice it's nice and flush along the dash. You know you got it in right when it's nice and flush. So at this point, uh, we can go ahead and reassemble our dash and we can program the truck for the new module.
went ahead and started the truck now that we're done putting the vehicle together I wanted to point out uh, if you press this here you'll notice on your speedometer cluster that nothing's happening and that's only because you now need to program the truck for the trailer brake control option all right with the vehicle running now what we're going to do is we're going to plug the obd genie programmer into the obd2 port it's located right here you'll see a series of lights what we're waiting for is the solid green light to tell us that it's been fully programmed Now that we have the green light, we can go ahead and remove it and stow it away. All right, we went ahead and removed the programmer, like I said. Uh, we could stow this away. Put it in your glove box, put it wherever you want. You no longer need it. It did its magic. So we're going to set that aside. And now when you press the control, you'll get something that'll say trailer disconnected. You know it's working when the trailer disconnected comes up. Right now, if you navigate down to the towing, you can come in here and look at your trailer status. We don't have one hooked up currently, um, so it'll tell you the status. You can go through the options and select a trailer. Um, you could change the trailer settings. You can add a trailer, call it whatever you want for those of you who have several different trailers. And then you can go through a connection checklist for whether you have conventional. It'll kind of give you a safety checklist before you get moving. And you can come through and adjust your gain through the checklist as well. Just note that, you know, if you have a couple different trailers, whether it's empty or full, um, you know, you do want to change your gain, you know, through the little pad down here at the bottom, you can change the gain by pressing down or up. Always, whenever you're, whenever you're um, linking a trailer to this, Start at one and then work your way up and figure out what, what feels good uh, when you're driving. But that's all adjustable um, for each different trailer. So that's what's really cool about using the factory trailer brake control. You can set different trailers. You can um, quickly get to the ones that you want to get to, um, especially those of you who have several different ones. So as you can see, guys, very easy install. Best of all, it's all factory, 100% Ford. You're not using an aftermarket kit. You don't get the, the features that you get with the factory kit. And then using the OBD Genie programmer just makes it so easy to be able to do it from the comfort of your own garage. We do this upgrade and so much more on infotainment.com for the Ford truck specifically. If you happen to have the small radio, the four inch basic sync radio, we can upgrade you to the sync three uh, system here. It comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Maybe some of you already have the 8-inch and you just want to add navigation. We carry all factory pre-programmed parts for Ford. We also do upgraded clusters. Uh, those of you who want the full digital cluster, that's definitely something we can help you get. We'll pre-program it for your truck and we'll also add your mileage. We do so much more. We do um, LED headlights and taillights, all factory. We could even upgrade your seating to have premium catskin leather seats. That and so much more at infotainment.com. So come check us out. Thanks for watching.